Hey, I wanted to talk to you guys a few minutes about head gaskets. A lot of people get on the forum with fears that they have bad head gaskets because when they pull the dipstick out, there's stuff on the dipstick. Or when they car start the car up in the morning cold, there's condensation blowing out the tailpipe. Let me tell you, there's really only two ways to get a bad head gasket. Number one is probably somebody didn't put the head on right the last time it was put on. Number two, the motor was overheated. If your motor hadn't been overheated and or it was not put on or it was put on correctly, more than likely you do not have a bad head gasket. So let me show you what a head gasket looks like. This is a Volvo S60 five-cylinder turbo engine with the head removed. The head has already been removed from the car. This is a head gasket. It looks like there's like three layers of gasket material there and this goes down on the head and then the on the block rather and then the head is bolted on top of that. Each one of these holes like this there's should be two four six eight ten twelve of them these holes that my thumb are through has bolts that go through there and these bolts go down into the head uh, about three inches apart on each one there has to be some serious heat damage to the motor to make this sandwiched gasket uh, metal separate enough for things to transfer through there. Down in here there's channels where coolant goes, some channels in the head oil goes, but mostly through here coolant goes in these pockets along these pistons. So here you have pistons. This car has a five cylinder so there's five pistons. It looks like the pistons have a little notches in a couple of them so there may have been a timing belt break on this car one time where it had or the timing was off where it had a little piston to valve contact but that still wouldn't justify a bad head gasket what's common on some of these cars especially these Volvo five cylinders is somebody will pull a dipstick out and they'll find some substance on the dipstick that looks like this this uh, light brown stuff right there when oil and coolant mixes or oil in any water substance mixes it'll make a substance like that like light chocolate milk color and that will create uh, a situation where there's a possible head gasket problem now the thing about these motors in these blocks are if you don't get them warmed up all the way, they sweat on the inside when they cool down. You drive the car around, the motor gets hot. You shut it off, the motor cools off, and it sweats a little bit of water inside the motor. When you start the motor back up, that water has to burn off on the piston walls or with that, whatever, or it'll accumulate that little bit of milky looking stuff on the dipstick if you do constant short trips you don't get the car driving 30 minutes at a time you'll see more and more of that stuff build up on the dipstick too so it's not a bad head gasket it's just condensation that hadn't been burned off the most common head gasket issue is when the uh, water gets into the oil and that fluid of water is getting past the uh, cylinder walls and it's getting in the piston area and when coolant or water gets into the piston area and the piston comes up and it fires makes an explosion anything in there gets forced out of the tailpipe so the, you have a lot of smoke like white smoke coming out the tailpipe that means you have a constant stream of coolant or water getting into the piston area that's a head gasket problem. Another instance is sometimes the head gasket breach causes water and oil to mix and it doesn't get over the piston chamber and you get water in your oil or coolant in your oil which is not good for the moving parts of the motor. The motor needs oil in a lot of parts not the dis 
diluted down oil mixed with coolant so that'll cause engine wear and could cause your engine to lock up because it's got coolant or water going into passages that should have only oil so that would be a head gasket issue the third and final head gasket issue is when uh, the explosion of the piston causes that in combustion air to slip by the head gasket and slide into the coolant chamber. When you have that movement of the compressed air getting into the coolant chambers, it will force coolant out of the motor, normally through the radiator or through the expansion tank or somewhere, and your motor will force the water out somewhere, then it'll run out of water, then it'll overheat and crack a block or something else like that. So basically there's three type of head gasket issues. So if you're not losing all your coolant somewhere or you don't have a lot of white smoke coming out your tailpipe after the car's warmed up or you don't have that light chocolate, you know, or, or cream coffee look in your oil, you probably don't have a head gasket. The, if you're real concerned about the stuff on the dipstick tube, take the car for a long drive, maybe 30 minutes or an hour, then check the dipstick, see how it looks, or simply drain the oil out of the motor into an oil pan. If it's nice, dark, black oil, then you're fine. If it's light, like coffee with a lot of cream in it, then you have coolant getting into your oil. So. That's all I got to say about that. I'll shoot a little video of the head in a second. Here's the head. The cams have been taken out. This is the bottom part of the head that mates to the engine block with the head gasket in between it. Here's a couple bolts, or here's a bolt that is used to hold the head in place. So you got uh, 12 of those bolts in the head holding the head down against the block.